Alright guys, well, it is just, I don't know what happened to that gorgeous weather forecast. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it has obviously gone to hell. And we have found ourselves in just a gray, gloomy, depressing, yuck fucking day in hell. Here in, uh, so you know, I'm sitting here. At this fucking Wegmans, uh, you know the the Wegmans Market Cafe or whatever the fuck they they call this goddamn place here on this gloomy Sunday afternoon. It is September seventeenth, twenty twenty three. So you know I've got this uh, like five hundred pounds of fucking tomatoes sitting getting ready to rot out there in my garden because I cannot give away my uh, delicious homegrown organic vine ripened tomatoes even my own housemate I <laughs> who who works at Walmart I came in last night uh, you know from the garden as I was uploading the rant on those tomatoes I noticed that she had brought home a bag of tomatoes, a plastic bag of tomatoes, obviously, uh, from Walmart. And I thought that was a little bit humorous that my own housemates uh, <laughs> prefer the, the uh, factory farm. Shut up. It's the goddamn... Uh, things thinking somebody is sitting in the passenger seat. Shut the fuck up. Jesus fucking Christ. All this goddamn shit screaming at you all the fucking time. So anyway, since I cannot get anybody else to eat my tomatoes, I guess I will be eating 500 pounds of tomatoes myself, and I can only eat one a day for my BLTs. So I have about a year and a half's worth of BLTs that uh, need to be harvested in the next three days. And uh, so I decide to make salsa. I'm going to make about uh, probably, I don't know, 10 gallons of delicious. Uh, Hambone salsa. So I go up there, and all, all I have this year is the fucking tomatoes. So I need the onions. I need a bunch of different kinds of peppers. I need uh, the cilantro, uh, you know, the usual. And I need some more lettuce for my BLTs because I did not plant enough lettuce in, in the garden. So Obviously, Wegmans is the choice of, of where to go get some fairly decent uh, produce in this town. And, you know, Wegmans is where all these little limp dick, lefty, virtue signaling, mask wearing, uh, little limp dick, save the planet lefties uh, up here in Ithaca, New York, do their shopping uh, you know exactly the kind of people I'm talking about and no I'm not talking about you Basil in case you're listening to this uh, but anyway so I go in there and I join the throng of little lefties so before I get involved in the salsa I said I don't want to forget the lettuce for my BLT so you know trying to hold a thought in uh, my uh, dementia plagued brain for more than 30 seconds. So I go looking for the fucking lettuce. And the only kind of lettuce they have uh, in the, you know, in the open produce aisle uh, is this fucking iceberg lettuce. I'm thinking to myself, fuck, you know, Walmart. I, I could have done better at Walmart. So there's this, you know, this little wage slave 
out of stock in and I said dude I, I said I cannot believe that Wegmans offers iceberg lettuce and has no other lettuce on this aisle uh, and, and he goes no sir he goes we have all sorts of lettuce and I said oh really I said where and he points all the way across the fucking uh, aisle to the other side of the produce section and there is this wall of all these different kinds of lettuces every fucking head of which is wrapped up in its own plastic bag you pretty much well and, and, and unless you want to buy iceberg lettuce and I'll get to this in a minute if you want to buy any kind of lettuce apparently other than iceberg at this little limp dick lefty save the planet uh, virtue signaling aren't we great uh, back slapping a uh, little lefty hangout you have to buy it wrapped up in a fucking plastic bag no way to avoid it so I get my plastic wrapped leaf lettuce not the organic I get my plastic wrapped leaf lettuce and so then I head over to buy all the other uh, ingredients that I need and so I go back over where this nice young man is doing this and I say okay I got the lettuce and I said so now I need all of these other things and he goes like what other things and I and I said you know onions and cilantro and and all of this stuff and you know they're just loose in the bins I cannot believe it that they're just loose in the bins and I said but you know I, I'm not sure how to gather this stuff uh, and, and, and pay for it how do I price and pay for it and take a wild guess what he does with with every fucking uh, ingredient you put it in a plastic bag you put your fucking onions in a plastic bag you put your fucking cilantro in, in a plastic bag uh, all, all down the thing so everything that is sitting there loose in the in the aisles that this nice young man has just unloaded uh, from his cart he tells me you put it in a fucking plastic bag and of course like in every supermarket all over the planet including Walmart there's these rolls and rolls and rolls of these fucking uh, plastic bags so uh, I you know I get my onions I get my cilantro I had my lettuce I know I'm forgetting things so then I get to the hot peppers All right so obviously I want a mixture of hot peppers I don't want it all jalapenos or all you know what I'm saying so I want like six different kinds of hot peppers but I only want one or two maximum of each kind of hot pepper are you following me so so of, of course this young man he is right in front of the fucking peppers so I bring one plastic bag over to the pepper thing all right so you got to understand guys that every one of their hot peppers which weigh what uh, an ounce a piece I'm guessing one ounce so each variety of their one ounce hot peppers cost three dollars and 99 cents a pound so they have six hot peppers right together in the aisle every fucking one of them 
the same price, $3.99 a pound, except there's one catch, is that each fucking variety of pepper has its own little skew number, its own little four-digit number that you're supposed to weigh out on the scales. So I go there, and, and I'm saying to myself, fuck this. They're all $3.99. Uh, I'm going to put all the fucking different kinds of peppers in the plastic bag. So I walk up there uh, with, the, uh, with my one plastic bag, and by this time I know this young fella. So he goes, so are you finding everything for your salsa, sir? And I said, I just need to get the peppers. And so he goes, well, you're right in front of them. And I said, no shit, Sherlock. So I proceed, you know, to put a couple of Anaheim peppers in the bag, you know, with one four-digit number. And then I reach to the next bin of $3.99 hot peppers, I don't know, call them jalapenos, and I put them in the bag, and then I reach for the third variety, I don't know, the Hungarian wax or whatever the fuck I was reaching for, and, and he goes, sir, he goes, you can't mix up the peppers in the same bag. You can't mix up the peppers in the same bag. Each variety of pepper is a separate item number, so you need to put each separate variety in its own plastic bag, go to the scale, weigh each of them individually, and price them out. And I said, well, that's crazy. And he goes, what do you mean? And, and I said, they're all the same price. Every fucking one of these six varieties of peppers is $3.99 a pound. And he's looking at me with this totally confused look on his face, like, where is this man going with this? I don't know. How many of you uh, tried to watch that awful movie on Netflix, A Man Called Otto, with uh, Tom Hanks in it? So I'm standing there in Netflix, uh, talking to this young man, explaining to him that they're all fucking $3.99. I'm not ripping off Wegmans. I'm going to put my fucking different peppers in the same fucking bag and I'm going to weigh them at $3.99. I said otherwise instead of using one fucking little plastic bag I need to use six plastic bags. Uh, I need to weigh them out six times, print six fucking labels, go to the goddamn cash register, instead of checking out one item, you're telling me I'm supposed to check out six items. Uh, I, I said, dude, I have my limit. And he goes, well, 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 sir, he goes, that throws off my inventory. And I basically, as politely uh, as I could say, fuck your inventory. Uh, I, 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 I said, dude, you got to learn at your age uh, that, that, that it's time to nip this bullshit in the bud. I said, so you've got two choices right now. You can let this old man put his different peppers in that bag and check out of this store and let it the fuck go, get back to uh, stocking your little greens, or you can go rat me out to some fucking little cop of yours uh, to come catch me at the goddamn checkout line, and you will have a scene on your hands in this fucking Wegmans on a Sunday afternoon. Your fucking call, dude. I am putting my peppers in this fucking bag. 
uh, you can watch me weigh them, put the fucking price tag on it. And uh, at that point, he decided uh, it was probably a good time to go back packing up his fucking loose cilantro so every clueless fucking moron, little limp dick lefty, virtue signaling, mask wearing, save the planet fucking hypocrite could go in there and, and put his loose uh, veggies in, into, a, in, into 25 different fucking plastic bags. And, and, and guys, I, you know, I, I'm not fucking kidding myself for one fucking minute that, that, that it makes any fucking difference. And, and of course, you, you realize that New York, the state of New York has a plastic bag ban. So when you get to the checkout counter, which I'm very glad to see, you cannot get... Uh, a plastic bag that they only offer paper, which is more than Walmart is doing, because you cannot even find a fucking paper bag at Walmart, so at least Wegmans has a, uh, so you, what you do, well of course I have the tortilla chips wrapped in a uh, plastic bag, so what you do is you take your 25 different individual plastic bags up to the fucking checkout counter and you take your 25 pound bags and you either put them in your Save the Planet Wegmans cloth bag or you put them in a couple of Save the Planet paper bags. So you know guys, again, I'm not kidding myself that this makes any fucking difference. I, I, I'm just pointing out, uh, you know, how fucked we are and, and, and these fucking little limp dick save the planet lefties. Uh, I, I'm surprised any of them were in and were shopping. I thought they were all at that goddamn big fucking uh, climate march going on uh, in New York City that those clueless fucking morons uh, out there demanding action demanding action to save this fucking planet uh, telling the world what we need to do what we need to do is keep our fucking peckers in our pants we need to not let our fucking knickers down. Anyway, that was my trip to Wegmans supermarket. And I'm heading home to make 500 pounds of salsa while I still can. Bye, guys.